Hey guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing a trade I did with Teth that YT. Now you may know I've done multiple trades with him in the past, and today, just like all the other ones, it's a pretty good trade. So let's just get into it. I'm actually going to open the box and then I'll get back to you because unfortunately I lost my tripod. <laughs> okay, so I got the box open, so now we're just going to start taking stuff out here. Oh, I see the first phone that I'm very excited about. Oh, what? He included something extra, I think. Well, first, this is a BlackBerry Priv. I have wanted one of these phones forever, and I finally got one off of him. Uh, it's in really good condition, wow. Yeah, it's near mint. The screen has a little bit of scratching, but it's nothing terrible. Oh, wow, the screen's actually in really good condition. But yeah, it works fine. Um, yeah, no issues. It just has some burn-in, but it, whatever. So... Set that to the side. Get into... Oh, I see what he did. Okay. Um, so, now we'll move to this, which I was also excited about. This is a Motorola Droid Mini. Um, I know this isn't anything special, but it's just a phone I've wanted for a very long time. It's basically the smaller Droid Max. And, yeah, just a nice phone, and it's in the nice red color. So, we're going to set that to the side. And starting off... He included, oh, he did include the spec case for this phone. You may be able to guess what it is from that. This is a Moto Z2 Force. It is an AT&T model. Um, oh, wow. He did a really good, good job putting on the screen protector. Yeah, the screen's absolutely mint because he removed the shatter shield to put the screen protector on. And, yeah, this, wow, this looks really nice. I'm going to take it out of the case to see the condition without the case. Case. Okay. Um, eh, it's similar to my old um, Moto Z2 Force that I used to have, the Sprint one. Yeah, similar condition, and it's a nice black color. So I'm just going to pop that back in the case. And yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get all of these phones set up and I'll get back to you. Okay, so it's been a few days since I originally unboxed the trade with Tech That YT. And I've had enough time to fully set these phones up and just get them to how I want them. So let's go over in detail what I got. And yeah, it's been like three days. I actually unboxed this the same day I met up with Jay Carroll again. We went to phone bins and all that. But yeah, so let's get into this. So starting off with the, um, the well, this is from worst to best in my opinion. Um, starting off, this is a... Motorola Droid Mini, you may remember this from the boxing, of course. Um, it's got a red back with the black accents and the black buttons, which looks nice. Um, this phone works perfectly fine. Let me unlock it. Yeah, it works perfectly fine. It just has some um, spots in the LCD, which is actually funny because I thought these phones always had AMOLEDs. But no, it's basically just a mini Droid Max with a LCD instead of an AMOLED. So pretty nice. I'm glad to have this thing. It's actually really fast for its age, um, and it's got pretty nice specs, too, for its age. It's got a Snapdragon S4. Um, yeah, 16 gigs of storage. It's pretty nice, and it's still on stock Android 4, which I love, because <laughs> I just love the way it looks. And, yeah, I really like this phone. I'm glad to have it. It's really fast. So, moving on. This is the BlackBerry Priv. It's in relatively good condition, just has a few scrapes on the edges, but nothing bad. And it works fully. Um, there's no issue with this phone at all, besides the burn-in, like I may have said in the last video. Um, yeah, I have all my apps on it. It's a really nice phone. Snapdragon 808, uh, 3 gigs of RAM on Android 6. Yeah, you can see the burn-in. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad, but that's alright. I don't really care about burn-in that much. I'm just glad to have this phone. And yeah, Snapdragon 808. Luckily, this phone does not boot loop like other Snapdragon 8 808 phones, aka the LG G4. Um, and yeah, um, let me see if I can get another white screen to show you the burn-in. Let's see, what could I use? Um, use Google since, yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty bad, but um, I just have dark mode on everything for this phone. I have the dark mode app, and I have a very dark wallpaper. So, like, for example, on the home screen, you can't even tell it's burnt in. So, yeah. So, yeah, just going to shut this down. Um, and the keyboard, of course, is really nice. I really love this phone. 
Moving on, this is the best phone. This is the Moto Z2 Force. It's in all right condition. It's kind of scratched up and dinged up on the edges, but it's black, AT&T. Works perfectly fine. This phone is really nice. It's extremely fast since these are all stuck on Android 8. Uh, it just has um, moderate burn in it. This has the same burn as every single Z2 Force. I don't know why. It's like every Z2 Force has the same exact type of, like, same exact looking burn in. And this one's no different, but it's, it looks worse on video than it actually is in person. In person, I don't even notice it. But yeah, it works perfectly fine. And I once again have dark mode, so I don't even care about the burn in. This thing's stupid fast. Um, did I actually check the battery health? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it obviously doesn't show. But yeah, Snapdragon 835, 64 gigs of storage on Android 8, and it's an AT&T model, which I should probably see if I can get this unlocked. But yeah, really happy with this phone. Um, it's very, very nice. I used to have one of these, but it was a Sprint model with a broken vibration motor in the black color as well, so it's nice to have another one. So yeah, that's a quick overview of the trade I did with the Tech That YT. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to go check out his video on the trade we did. I will leave a link to his channel in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.